Longtime All-American swimmer Riley Gaines was at ETSU tonight for her Speak Louder campus tour. Gaines is an outspoken activist who advocates against the inclusion of transgender athletes in women's sports. News 5's Kylie Hill was there and learns more about what made Gaines decide to do this tour. I realized the quickest way to make God laugh in your face is to make plans for yourself. Uh, he very clearly had different plans for me. In March 2022, former University of Kentucky swimmer Riley Gaines competed against Leah Thomas, the first openly trans woman champion in the NCAA Women's Swimming Championship. The pair tied for fifth place. In my college career, I uh, capped off with my NCAA championships my senior year where we were forced to compete against a male at the Women's National Championship. Uh, what that unfair competition looked like, uh, what the locker room scene looked like, um, the silencing aspect and really the emotional blackmail we face from our universities and the authority figures in charge. Since then, instead of going into dentistry as she planned, the Tennessee native is going to college campuses across the country for her Speak Louder tour, aiming to encourage college students to speak up for their rights to free speech and for all women. Seeing what we saw, facing what we faced, experiencing what we experienced, I can't imagine not using my platform to fight for this. ETSU's Turning Point USA organization hosted the event. Lakey Derrick with Turning Point says she's hopeful everyone in attendance Thursday night left feeling empowered. I'm hoping that Speak Louder will embolden them to not just be a part of the silent majority, but to speak louder and be bold for all their beliefs. Several local athletes were in attendance Thursday at Riley's visit to ETSU. A few I spoke with say as swimmers themselves, Riley has been an inspiration for them. I struggle with like talking to people about what I believe in while still competing as a swimmer in high school. And it's been a pressing issue for me that scared, scared me when people came out and started talking about this and it was really scary to me. So when Riley started talking, it really gave me hope for the future. Riley says she's hoping to spark change with this tour, but also hopes to see the NCAA take more accountability. They're changing their guidelines to where they want no hands on deck, which to me shows me that they know they're acknowledging that what's happening is wrong or else they would stand by it. And they're not standing by it. They're leaving it up to each specific sport governing body to make the rules for their own sport. At ETSU, Kylie Hill, News 5, WCYB.